there's a large outbreak of uh, foot and mouth disease in Southeast Asia and it appears that the current vaccine is not providing adequate protection. So we need to develop a new vaccine that's more closely matched and so will give better protection to, uh, to the virus that circulated in that area. We've developed a new uh, strain of vaccine. We need to carry out a, a study in animals to show whether uh, this vaccine will protect against the virus that's circulating in Southeast Asia. And then based on those results, um, we can advise those countries uh, whether this vaccine they should use to vaccinate, well, millions of animals actually, and protect them from, from an outbreak. So we've got 18 animals in this trial, um, of which uh, 15 will be vaccinated. And, uh, and then we have to have three controls um, to show that the, the, the virus that we're using um, will actually cause disease. So we hope um, and, and expect that uh, the, the animals that have been vaccinated will either show no clinical signs at all, they'll be fully protected, or they'll show very mild clinical signs. Um, of course, the, the animals where, that aren't protected at all would eventually show um, severe signs of foot and mouth disease, but we don't allow them to get to that point. As soon as we're sure that they are infected, and that's at a stage when they have mild or moderate clinical signs, we then remove them from the trial. But this study design has been used for probably 50 years now and, and we know that the results we're getting from these vaccine protection studies do translate into uh, demonstrating the vaccine will be efficacious in the field. Because we know precisely how much virus we're giving each animal, then it means we can use smaller group sizes to prove whether that vaccine is, is going to be protective or not. So we, we will vaccinate these animals next week and then we'll leave them 21 days and then we'll challenge them and we will know probably within three to four days whether they're protected from, from infection or not. And we, the study goes out for eight days post-vaccination but, but you usually know quite quickly whether the vaccine is going to be protective or not. If the vaccine is protective then we can give advice that it can be used in, in the field, in the countries that are suffering from the disease. If it isn't protective, then we have to go and find a different vaccine formulation. But that's very important information because then we're not advising um, the, the companies or governments to use a vaccine that we know will not provide full protection in the field. So both results are, are very important. So that if this trial is successful, it can go straight into production, uh, into growth in 10,000 litre vessels to make thousands and millions of doses of vaccine and so theoretically uh, there could be uh, a, a usable vaccine on the market in, in probably uh, six weeks to two months. If the trial isn't successful then we have to go back to the drawing board and, and go back to uh, looking at other uh, isolates of virus we've taken from the field and then we have to get them to grow in tissue culture. It could be another three to four months at least before we're in the position to have a, another virus that can be made into a vaccine um, to, to test again. So these studies, because of the nature of the disease, are monitored very closely. As a minimum, uh, the, the animal staff will come in here at least twice a day to make sure to formally examine the animals to, to look at their clinical signs. We have highly trained staff who have huge amount of experience of this disease and, uh, and know the process that the animals go through in, in the run-up to them showing disease. So they're, they're, they're very familiar with the early clinical signs and that's, that's very important that we can control the, the severity of infection closely. Of course there's always the question of um, you're deliberately infecting animals with a virus that's going to cause disease and then of course we have to kill the animals at the end of that study um, because they can't be released uh, back into, onto the farm because they have been infected and could carry foot and mouth disease that could have devastating effect on, on, on the UK's agricultural system. But if you think we, we've gone through uh, extensive laboratory studies to choose what we believe is a vaccine that will protect these animals of foot and mouth disease and then we're using 18 animals to test a vaccine that will be used to protect millions of animals and, and to stop them getting disease. So even though um, I don't think any of us likes to carry out these types of studies, 
they're essential if we're going to protect the larger livestock population around the world.